I had that whole conversation. Did I have the whole? Have you guys been hearing me this whole time? Can be heard? Yeah, it's echoing. Give me one second. 
Can I be heard? Can I be heard? Can I be heard? Now. Can I be heard now? Let me know if I could be heard on the chat. Just let me know if I could be heard. I should be able to be heard. If not, I have to go double check. This should be better right now. Let me double check. I'm sorry, I got started and everything. Y'all sound check one, two, one, two. So oh, sound check. Hold on. Technical difficulty. Let's get a camera. Can I be heard? Now I'm going to have to go on another device if I don't hear anybody giving me feedback. Is it screeching? Hold on. Let me just give you guys a little bit of an uh, intermission until we go work on this one. I'll be right back.
All right. We are back. Okay. This thing is acting up, but it's okay. Hopefully you can hear me. I had to turn down the sound on both sides so that there was no echo. Uh, we decided to use the whole mango. So now the mango is in the food processor. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So, of course, the lawn man has arrived. We're going to do one fourth cup of coconut milk. The show must go on, people. One fourth cup of coconut milk. And this, I use Ori D coconut milk. Unless you have it fresh. And then, you know, by all means, do your thing. Do your thing. So this is Ori D coconut milk. Oopsie. I like it because they don't add stabilizers or anything like that. And then, you know anything about me? I'm a little obsessive with the cooking clean, so please don't mind me. <laughs> and with the washing of hands. So we have the coconut milk. We have the um, we have the mango, and then we're going to put in agave. I don't have any agave today, but I do have this 100% uh, cane sugar, so I'm going to put in the one tablespoon of cane sugar liquid so cane sugar or agave or not if your mango is sweet enough you yeah. and then i gotta stop saying that you're please <laughs> cook your little muna man and uh we have a take a teaspoon of salt teaspoon of salt and uh, I have black pepper but it's not ground so I'm gonna use white pepper today I know I'm, I'm in one of those moves it's been it's been a long setup <laughs> so white pepper works as well so I, and I kind of like white pepper but you don't need that much so one fourth teaspoon of white pepper not that much you know this is kind of like seasoned mango sometimes you put or oh, spicy mango Cajun mango sometimes you put um Pepper, uh, what do you call it? What do you call the other pepper people? Sometimes you put cayenne pepper, different type of thing. And essentially you blend it up till it becomes smooth. So I'm going to I'm going to purposefully mute at this time so that it can be smooth and you won't hear the noise. So we blend it for like 30 seconds. Then it becomes like a mango puree. And um, I'm just gonna taste it to make sure everything is on the up and up. Oh, I know I forgot something. I was like, wait a minute. Everything is not on the up and up. <laughs> I know I forgot something. Listen, I'm not the I'm not the the, the chef that like like oh it's so good. If it's not good, I'm gonna say it's not good. That's one of my one of my beasts with some of the people. They be like oh it's so good. No, it's not good. Stop playing games. So we have a tablespoon of lime juice. I knew it was missing something. So I'm going to squeeze the lime juice into. And it's already a little loose, so I'm not gonna put, I'm just gonna put half the line in there. Let it. All right. This is what it looks like. Let me get a new spoon to taste.
I mean, you could go saltier, but the jerk is already salty, so we're not gonna we're not gonna do the most with the salt. That mango, that mango was more of a starchy mango. It wasn't. It wouldn't have been my uh, everyday mango of choice, but that's what the supermarket had today, so I had to go with that one. And it made a it made a considerable amount of dip. <laughs> like I hope you like mango dip. That was a big mango. <laughs> It was a starchy one, but it was big. All right, so what we're going to do is put this mango dip in the fridge so that it can firm up. All right. We're going to put this in the fridge so it can firm up. And now, if you if you choose to use this on something else, then, you know, be my guest. <laughs> be my guest. Be my guest. But we are about to make some vegan chickpea wings. Okay, so give me one second. Let me tighten up the spot, and then we're gonna come back and make the vegan chickpea wings. We're gonna go to a little commercial break, shock him wash up this dish so that we can use it again so a little commercial break and we'll be back let's introduce ourselves we're the yummy cottage okay this video is brought to you by the yummy cottage you open your search browser you put in the yummy uh, cottage.com oops cottage.com and then you go on over to the yummy cottage Ba-da-da. And here we are, and we have seasonings. This is what our special is right now, the international pack of seasoning curry special blend with organic turmeric, Tex-Mex, Jamaican jerk. Um, we have chicken, chicken. You, man, listen, you put it on anything. You put it on your Brussels sprouts. You, uh, Brussels sprouts are my thing right now, by the way. You put it on your um, your tofu, if that's what you eat, your chicken alternative. You put it in your rice. You make, um, what do you call it, broth, all that good stuff. So go on over to the Yummy Cottage. Check us out. That's who's sponsoring the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, press like and share and all that good stuff. And we will make another one all right all right we are back just in time i just rinsed out the food processor and uh the, the ingredient says one can but for all intents and purposes i'm gonna bump it up to two cans of chickpeas so what you want to do is try your best to get the chickpeas do it from scratch if you can if you have that ability if not, I try my best to get the chickpeas once again that does not have any extracurricular things added. So this one is just organic chickpeas, water, and salt. You know we down south, so this is from Publix, okay? Somewhere like that. So all we're going to do is open up the chickpeas and um, drain them off and wash them off. Don't, if you don't want to wash off your chickpeas after you do that, then that's fine. But I'm just going to drain it and wash it off. And then we're going to put it into the food processor. Now, we have moved on to the second part of the recipe. So if you just joined us, we already did the sweet mango dip. I would have preferred another, a different mango, but we're going to work with it. And now I'm going to drain and wash off the chickpeas. So this is the chickpeas. Here's what we have. And we're going to add the chickpeas to our food processor. We're going to add the chickpeas to our food processor. Okay. How's everybody doing? Let me check here. I'm, I can't, I can't, I don't even want to mess with the camera, so I'll come look in afterwards. So what we're going to do now is let them drain a little bit. Cause you don't want them too wetty wetty as, as they will say that's a that's caribbean uh cooking language wetty wetty uh, and we're going to 
put them in there. Because what we're going to do is we're going to pulse them. We do not want to make comments, peoples. So we're going to pulse the chickpeas. We got two runaway chickpeas here. We're going to pulse the chick. Where my popcorn go? We're going to pulse the chickpeas with the gluten flour. Now, this is not a gluten-free recipe, but if you, however you want to do it, you can basically put this with whatever you want, basically. You can jerk some vegetables if you want to. Um, so what we're going to do is, oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> it's been a long day. What we're going to do is, um, where am I at? Okay, she has like all of these different, no, not for this one, right? This one is the vegetable broth or the poultry seasoning. So two teaspoons is not about to do it. It doesn't taste like much if you just do two teaspoons. I'm just keeping it built. So I'm going to do tablespoon. The poultry season or poultry season or chicken season that we make here um, at the Yummy Cottage, let me see, it is doesn't have a lot of salt. So you get to add your salt as you will. There's a lot of seasonings out here that the base of the seasoning is salt. And so, you know, that whole high blood pressure vibration is not good. So the reason why I'm able to put it in liberally, because it doesn't have a lot of salt. And then what I'm going to do is add a titch of salt, like a teaspoon, not too much, because the other dish has other parts to it, right? So we're going to put a little salt. All right. I don't like when I bite into the food and it's too salty. The eyes start watering from dehydration already, just sucking out all the water out your body. But <laughs> where are we? Chickpea wings. Oh, I'm tripping. So after we do that, I'm tripping, peoples. This is real cooking. This is how it go for real, for real. We're going to take three fourths cup. The recipe is half a cup if you're just doing um, just one can. But I found that because I did, I ran a dry run earlier three-fourths cup is going to do it. But you don't want to add all of your gluten flour at one time. You want to just put a little bit first. And then no, anything with baking, anything with flour, do not add all your flour one time. So, And this is high-protein flour. So you want to kind of guide your hand a little bit. So I'm going to put it on mute. And then I'm going to blend. Sorry about that. I meant to take the mute off. I kind of don't want the thing to be in your ear. So at this point, you see it's coming together a little bit. So you add your one fourth cup of water at this point. That's why I said, depending on how dry your chickpeas are, um, it's going to depend how much flour you're going to put in and how much water. So you kind of just have to watch it. You just put a little bit and at a time you want the chickpea to come down, but you don't want it to become hummus. So hold on one more. All right, if you see there, I added just like a teaspoon more water. 
Now the rest of the flour, I'm gonna determine how much I'm putting there based on the consistency. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a hands-on type of person. So you know different elements will change the, the, the need. Especially when you're dealing with bread and things of that nature. All right. So essentially the 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 vital wheat became a binder in, in it and it's gonna hold it together. And because you put it in with the chickpeas, this is the texture that you, you have here. See, this is the texture, but it's still not there yet. So what I'm going to do is move this out the way. And now we're going to add the flour in a little bit at a time. You don't want it to be too dry. And then I'm going to, we're going to form our wings or our vings. We're going to form those. And then we're going to bake the. You can either bake it or you can air fry it. The recipe says to fry it, but and she says to fry it straight from this batter. I find that when you when you're cooking with gluten, it needs to be cooked thoroughly. Some people are gluten intolerant. Sometimes it's because the food is the gluten is not cooked. So basically, it's like eating raw dough. It may be fried on the outside, but it's it's not cooked, right? So we're gonna put the the totality of it in there. You know you gotta bang it. It's not if you don't bang the thing after you're done, you really didn't do nothing, right? So now <laughs> we're gonna add all the flour together, right? Make sure there's no dry spots, just like when you're making bread. It's gonna come together. You see that? It's all together. Now you have a little dough. So what you're gonna do, if you're air frying it, which we're gonna do in this scenario, we're gonna show you, and then we're gonna move forward because. Hey, just like the cooking show, I already did some. So what I found is air frying is the best bet because with baking, if you wanted to get a little crisp, you would have to bake it first and then crisp it up at the end. With air frying, you just do everything one time. So this, this two cans make, I think it was 16. Yeah, two cans make 16. So you take a dough ball size, like a golf ball size in your hand, and you just, you know what I mean? You roll it around until you get a, until it starts to form. You flatten it out, and boom, look at that. A cute little chicken wing or chickpea wing. Again, I'll show you again, a golf ball size. You don't want it too big because then it's, it's going to come too thick. So you roll it. And then when you get it to a certain point, after you roll it a few times, then you just press it down with your hands. And I kind of like it's free form. So whatever it comes out as, that's what it looks like, <laughs> right? It's free form. You do it again, a golf ball size. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. If you're just joining us, you're at the second portion of this whole conversation. We are doing, I think, I called it, I renamed it. I had to rename like Island Wings or something because, you know. So I'm going to air fry this conversation. Again, not too big. Like if I was to do it, like it'll start, you can tell in your hand when it's getting too big. So you just get a good size in your hand. I'm going to do the, the eight that can fit, fit on here and then I'm going to go on. Because it's time to make the jerk sauce with the yummy jerk seasoning. Once again, if you have like a little bit of big pieces in there from the chickpea, you can either smash it out or you can take it out. Because if you leave it in there, it's probably going to mess with your stuff and break it apart. So if it's too big, you can try to do it again. But if not, you can work with it. You know what I mean? Do your thing. Do your thing, Woody. Do your thing. This is the smooth and easier moon of today. I don't know why I feel a little tired. So, you know. <laughs> It's the smooth and easy. So here we go. Once the seed up here, you see how they, they're coming along? They're coming along. These would be flats. We don't do any extracurricular stuff. If you want to put this recipe on something else, hey, try it and let us know. Drop it in the description below. Let us know what, what else you worked with. So, so far in here, we have the chickpeas. We have the vital wheat. We have the man outside making a lot of noise. 
Um, we have the seasoning. Now you're just gonna have to watch me do the whole thing because now I'm like, why just stop here? Why not just finish the bowl? So we're gonna finish the bowl. Okay. See, they all have their little individual look. Let me get the next tray. And I'll show you the trick I did. Even if you're gonna bake it, it'll work. So there's a little trick to this thing that I said so that you don't get no dry, crusty, uh <laughs> dry, crusty chickpea wings. Uh, so you press it down. This one's a little small. You see what it looked like. If it's small, it's kind of not going to do what you want it to do. So just be mindful. It still works. Okay. And you just kind of, if you don't see what I'm doing, I'm just kind of, when I get it to where I want it, I just kind of flatten it with the palm of my hand. Right, we do the same thing again. Like I said, it makes about, if you don't make them too big, it make about 16, but I don't think we're gonna catch 16 off of there. I think I was doing too much on, on some of these here. I don't think I'm gonna get 16. We at 12 right now. If you're really particular, weigh it out. Like when I'm doing stuff to sell for the shop, then I weigh everything out. But this is just freehand, so I'm not weighing. But when I'm making burgers or meatballs, then I weigh everything out. So that you could become more precise. And so everybody gets the big piece, okay? These two little babies back here struggling. I'm gonna have to pinch off of somebody. Who the who who got too fat up in here? Let me see. Somebody gonna have to get got for the oh yeah, you you looking, you look oh now he's skinny. Oh no. Hold on. Yeah. There he goes. He's been reassigned. So here we go. Here's the last one. And oh, we just we just made it. Uh, so sad. All right. So that wasn't hard. That wasn't too painful. Bam, bam, bam. We did that. And now we're going to do an extra step, which is. Not fry it in oil, but dip it in oil. And dipping it in oil, as we know, is going to give it a little hydration. So when you put it either in the oven or the air fryer, they, they don't just become dry because naturally chickpeas are dry. So if you dry them all the way out, don't, you know, I can't help. I can't help. I can't help. So it's going to get a little drippy. So put it on your tray. It's going to get a little drippy. Let me move some of this stuff up out of the Let me wash my hands. <laughs> okay, so now... Now that we've done that, now you take a bowl with oil and you and you generously douse your chickpea wing in the oil. If they should they, if they fall apart, then you don't have enough gluten in there, right? They shouldn't fall apart. They should stay together just like this. So, and you make it drip off and then you put it on your tray. Whatever the tray you're going to bake it in. So air fryer, you know, you have to have openings so the air can get in. So 375, 18 to 20 minutes. And that should crisp it up oh so nicely. It would be delicious, darling, I'm telling you. You just must wait. So what we're going to do here is just do these because I'm quite sure the children will eat them with no complaints, darling. I don't mind me. <laughs> I'm tired today. I don't know where I'm tired today. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to let y'all see what they look like. Oh, dang. They sucking up all the oil. You see this? I'm going to put a little bit more oil in there. A, a little bit. I, I say uh, maybe a light olive oil or safflower oil. Not grapeseed. 
if, if that's your thing, maybe, but you know, something that doesn't transfer the taste into what you're making. Okay. So this is an extra step, but I think it's worth it. Y'all know, I, for those who've been following for a while, we came a long way. We used to make some cray. We like following all the recipes, people trying to find new things to do on the internet, you know, and you follow some of these recipes, these people be lying. You know, I'm the type of person, like I buy, oh, you said, you said buy this, that. If I don't know what I'm doing, I'm, you know, and these jokers have me like, you know what? Somebody needs to test these live because sometimes they just be wanting to add sense money to tell you the truth. So this is what they're going to look like. And I'm going to go ahead and put it. Oh, no, I should have already uh, preheated this. I don't want it to start making noise right now. So what I'm going to do is put this into the air fryer, but I'm not going to turn it on yet because I already have some done. Because it's going to be noisy. And make sure you give them some space in the air fryer so that they're not on top of each other. Oh no, it started. Never mind. Okay, so that is going to be a 375 for 18 to 20 minutes. And now we're on the third part. Are you guys excited? I know it's going quick, but you know, it's a lot of prepping. It's a moderate amount of prepping. But this right here, real deal okay so i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when it's finished boom ba -da -da -da. right when they pop out the air fryer they're gonna kind of look like this that's why i said don't make them too big because once they cook they're gonna come out like this look 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 at them chickpea wings y'all i know that would be a fat bird but never mind that when they come out this is a good size right here so make it a decent size so that uh, if you want to, you know what I mean? Unless you're doing like pterodactyl wings or something. So we're going to put this to the side because now we're going to make the last component, which is the jerk sauce. See that? Okay, cool. So again, I'm going to change a little step because I thought the scallions in the jerk sauce, she puts five cloves, one scotch bonnet pepper, four scallions, thyme, allspice, agave, orange, all of this stuff, right? Instead, we're going to put the jerk seasoning, okay? We're going to put the jerk seasoning. We are going to put the cloves, of the cloves of garlic and the scallion, but I'm going to do it in reverse because uncooked scallion. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just saute those ingredients really quickly, and then I'm going to blend them all together. So we're going to put the orange juice. Hold on, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Before we put the orange juice, I'm going to put the, I'm not going to put the whole thing of the of the, uh, the scotch because that'll just be OD. I know some people will be hollering, like, Manny, why you do that? So we're going to put, we're going to warm up this. So I already cut up the scallion. So I'm gonna saute the scallion and I'm gonna saute lightly the, the onion. Now I'm gonna put a little heat in there, a little bit. And then we're gonna put the pepper in there. And then we are going to get ready to blend everything up. So sometimes recipes, sometimes if you know what you're doing and the recipe don't look too right, it's your it's your free will. Change it up a little bit. You know what I mean? If it doesn't make you feel good inside, like, nah, I don't think I should do that. 
sometimes what other people say they like, you may like it a different way. So I think there's some common sense that goes into when we're cooking. Um, because unlike baking that needs really exact cooking, you have a little more wiggle room. Um, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for, everyone? Vinegar. Salt and pepper. Agave. Okay. How's everybody doing? Wait, let me move this out your way. I can check. I have a minute now to see what's going on while my pot is hotting up. You good? Everybody's good? Let me know how you good. Talk to each other. Let them, how you like it so far? Does it look like something you would eat? Or would you, do you want to put it on a chicken wing, a turkey wing? Is it because essentially it's what's making it is the sauce and the dip. That's what's kind of going to make the meal. You know what I mean? Would you make it? Would you not make it? Let us know. Let us know. So I'm going to rinse out this food processor. So I'm putting I'm putting a little a little a little small commercial. A little small commercial. This is sponsored by the Yummy Cottage. We have been here for going on four years. We are trying, we <laughs> we trying to keep our head above water. We're trying to. We're not trying to. We have been educating people, giving people new experiences, healthy experiences, giving them alternative options, as well as helping our family to help your family. So going over to the yummycottage.com, more things are coming on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm going to share a short commercial break, and then we're going to finish this up and see what it tastes like. I might have to call the OTT, that's the official taste testers, into the spot to let us know. But in the meantime, I don't even think this one is long. Hold on. Ready. Hold on one second. I just want to see. I don't have any music to play. Hold on one second. I have to watch this thing out again. Oh, we have soap. I'll play this no, soap in the middle of cooking. That will sound good. Hold on. This episode is sponsored by Yummy Curry Powder. Go on over to www.theyummycottage.com for your powder today. in this day and age is so sanitized meaning we think that's how it really go like cooking really take two seconds and you know what i mean people don't really wash dishes and How many people notice that the shorter, the faster everything happens is the shorter our attention span becomes. We want everything so fast. And it still takes time to produce. So now we are going to get this do not fall off of this table. If I tell y'all how many food processors I lost, <laughs> and I'm saying duh, 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 how many food processors I've had to say goodbye to, and it's just this this part right here. This is my third one, people. When it when it falls from me and it starts to rolling, that's it. 
That is it. Boom. It goes on the floor and it breaks. But this one has been, even I bought one that was a little more expensive. This one here, what is this? A Black & Decker? Uh, this is not a, a paid uh, thing, but this, not the expensive one either, because I bought I bought one that had was a little more expensive. It still didn't cut the way this one does. So this is the third one. We on his cousin. First we got his twin brother. You know what I'm saying? And now we on his cousin. <laughs> ah, okay. Where we at? Jerk sauce. Okay. I, so we're gonna put our scallions into the pot. That's just for me. I'm just gonna warm it up as well with the garlic, but I don't have it too high because you know garlic will burn. Then I'm going to put two ta about how much jerk we want. Hmm. I'm put about two tablespoons of jerk up in here. So this jerk seasoning has all spice. It has, let me read off the ingredients. Pimento, which is all spice, thyme, smoked paprika, smoked salt, cayenne pepper, cane sugar, garlic, onion, white pepper, and nutmeg. Okay, it's not high in salt. You can add salt as you will. You can bake your vegetables or your whatever it is with this in the oven. You can do it on the stove top. You can make a stew. You can do a whole lot of things with that there. So at this point, we're almost there, peoples. We're on the home stretch. I'm looking at this recipe list here. I'm just gonna let it go on and do its thing. Everybody, y'all real quiet over there. I can't see what y'all saying. I hope y'all are doing well. Let me know if you're enjoying it. What's going on? Hit the like button on your way in, on your way out. If you're coming back to watch it later, let us know. Let us know. We're cooking with the moon at this point. Oh, chill. Hey, should I put the scotch bonnet in here? I'm not gonna put too much because the youth them have to eat this, so. But I'm gonna flick it in the pot. Just flick it in the pot, just flick it in the pot. If you don't want your pot to be too pepper, especially when you're making soup, y'all already know, just dip the, pe the pepper in there, but don't let it burst. Just let it get the outside, <laughs> the outside vibration, not necessarily the inside vibration. So I'm about to put some of this orange juice because that's what it called for. When I first saw this recipe, I was like, orange? But it's not that bad. It kind of gives like a sticky sweet element. So what we're going to do is we're going to take what I'm sauteing in the pot. And then we're going to put agave oh. orange juice and a little bit of vinegar in there. Okay. So and then we're going to taste to see whether or not we have to adjust it in it. And here's the vinegar. With the air fryer, I notice if you switch the top rack and the bottom rack, you might get an even thing. So I'm just going to switch them. They have a few more minutes. All right, 
So I don't want to overcook it, but I just sauteed it a little bit, okay? So now this is the do not fall, do not fall, do not fall. This is the sauteed, oh, this is the sauteed uh, garlic and what is scallion? Green onions, scallions or scallions. So we're going to put this in here. Took off some of the rawness. <laughs> <laughs> they used to be like, mm -mm, is the onion too raw? It took off a little bit of the rawness on there. So what we're going to do is tell, I might toss the, the ones that just come out the oven. It seems like a little bit, but we're going to work with it. And then we're going to put the, what's this here? Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're going to put one fourth cup of orange juice. Bomb. See that? That's going to give you a little sweet. And it's sweeter when you say bomb. When you say bomb, when you put it in the pot, it makes it sweeter. So then we're going to put more agave, but I have 100% cane syrup, so that's going to work for me. This is a half teaspoon, and I'm, so I'm just going to put two. And the one tablespoon. One tablespoon of vinegar. And now, little salt. I know this is weird, right? Sometimes Caribbean people or wherever you're from, and somebody's making a dish that's native to where you're from. You may kind of feel a way, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, but I'm like, hey, why not? This is their interpretation of what they're experiencing. So let me not see what they think. And I could tell you this is, you know, for me, my taste buds, this is where it's at, this is where it's not at. So that's why I decided to try this recipe because this is someone's interpretation of your culture, right? So let me put it on. This is what it's looking like. I know it's not looking like much right at this moment, but I'm going to taste to see if we got to doctor it up in it. That garlic, that garlic is forward. If we don't want the garlic to be so forward, don't put too much. I think I, I think I went Italian on this joint. That garlic is well forward. Hold on. I think I'm gonna have to come with a little more. And sometimes when we go all we go all the way to one side too much. We got to bring it back. Now I'm trying to think what I'm going to do to bring it back to the other side. That garlic is hitting. I'm going to tip a little bit more of this in here, y'all. This is when you now have to doctor the recipe. <laughs> Wee! I think I might put a, a, a little more scallion in there. Then that's already warm, it should do the trick. Hold on. I 
All right. We're going to put a little more scallion in this thing. A little bit more to bring it back on the other side of town. So what we sorry, I had the thing on mute. I keep turning it. We learn it as we go. So I took back the pot that had some of the jerk and everything in there already. And so I'm gonna put it back in. And then I'm gonna put some of this jerk sauce on the top. And then we're gonna take back out our mango. And we're gonna plate it and we're gonna see. Is it good? There we go, right on time. Is it good to you? I like it. <laughs> Is it good to you? Boom. So these ones are just fresh. You saw me make them. These are the ones I just made, right? It's going to make it take it off. You hear the crispiness on there. Is it? Oh, and it's hot. Don't burn yourself. Okay. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I'm going to toss the other ones with just, I'm going to toss this with this jerk sauce and I'm just going to toss the dusty other ones with the yummy kind of jerk wings and then see which ones the young ones or the OTT like. So now that we have this, I told you that's the, that's the, uh, that's the food processor always trying to run away. So now that we have this, all right, food processor, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move you. Oh, 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 there we go. So LF, welcome to the conversation. We just made it. It's made from chickpeas and vital wheat. So if, when, I, when it's done, it's going to be all on record. We just made it, showed you how to do it from start to finish. It's made from chickpeas and vital wheat. Now we're going to uh, take the sauce and dribble and toss. Dribble and toss, right? This is a different kind of sauce that I'm used to, but hey, I'm not going to do like the food channel, do the most, and then it, it flicks out the plate. So you just want to get it all nicely. Oh, there it goes. And put a little, get it nicely incorporated here. And then I'm going to get a plate. Where's the plate? One second, peoples. We're going to bring back out our mango seasoning. We're going to get, oh no, did I forget? No, I didn't. I did not forget. I'm missing something though. Hold on. We're going to get our mango dipping sauce. Okay. 
And then we're going to put our wings on the plate here. They are steaming. And we're going to pour this, and then we're going to see. <laughs> you already know we got how to showmanship. Come on now, nah, brother. You already know how it is. Then we're going to put the, the other ones that I did before. They were a little more brown because uh, I, I did them on the stove top. But these ones definitely going to be less greasy. They're going to be less greasy. And I'm going to do a little garnish here. And then we're going to see what it's working with. And then I'm going to dust some other wings. Just to show you that if you don't like the wetty wetty, but you don't like the moist wings, then you can definitely do. You can definitely do um the dry. There we go. Put our little scallions on the top. And that's that. Did it look like the picture? <laughs> Did it come out like the picture? So that's that. We had a little technical difficulties, but let me get another uh let me get another bowl so that we can dust these other wings. Studio looking crazy, people. So let me get another bowl. Okay. For the sake of conversation, we are going to just dust these wings. All right, for the sake of conversation, we're going to dust these wings just with the uh, yummy is the Jamaican jerk, without the other sauce. So I'm just liberally giving it a dusting here. That looks bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. So the, these ones, we just dusted with the jerk sauce. I mean, the dirt powder. We did not uh, do everything else to it. Need a, a wing platter. Okay. Now it's time to taste it. Now we got the taste cam. It's time to taste it. That's our wing platter stacked. How long did it take us? An hour? <laughs> if you're having a party, if you're catering an event, if your cousin's auntie's uncle is trying to eat healthier, this is something that everybody may enjoy. Before I call the OTT and they run up in here on me, let me give you my honest feedback at this point, okay? Yeah, I'm going to take this one right here. First, I'm going to taste it without it. It's still hot. Even though the sauce look crazy, it's not. It's not. It has like a sweet. The sauce is, it look crazy, but it's not crazy. If you take a lot of the, uh, the rawness of the onion off. Yeah, you missed the cooking show in there. All right. Now let's taste it with the mango sauce. You see, look, look at. Let me, let me do an up close cam on this joint right here. Look, 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 look. There we go. If you like mango, the chances are you're gonna like it. 
If you like fries, you can eat it with fries. You can eat it like this. Let me try. I'm gonna try the one without the sauce now. It can work. It could work. Now I gotta call OTT who has assisted me by being quiet while I did this thing. OTT? Oh, OTT? Oh, they're not coming. You guys wanna try this? They keeps it real, y'all. Which one would you like to try? The one, let me put a little dust in. Look like I was stingy on the dust in. Let me put a little dust in. Let me put a little more dust in. Dust, yeah, 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 dust. Okay, which one would you like to try? The plain one? This one? You wanted a mango sauce or no? Okay. You gotta be, you gotta talk loud. Tell me what, because people are listening. That's the only way they're gonna know. Which one would you like? Did you want which one? I like the plain one. How does it taste? How does it taste? Which one do you want, Shai? Okay. She doesn't like mango, so we're going to get this one. These are some big wings, peoples. They quite. How? What do you want to say? It tastes good. It tastes good? Mm -hmm. Did it taste like we did it the first time? Yeah. Okay. I like the crunchiness. You like crunchiness? All right, there you have it, people. Make it your own. Thank you for tuning in. This is Amuna. This has been Yummy Cottage TV. Thanks for rocking with us.